The latest exhibit at the Art Gallery of Greater Victoria is a collision of the traditional and contemporary Coast Salish art. You can't get art much more indigenous to this area. These are the, uh, the Coast Salish people um, looking back at their traditions, their traditional um, visual art, and updating it to contemporary times. The Salish Weave exhibit features 20 pieces from the private collection of Victoria's George and Christian Smith. It's an opportunity for you to see carvings, paintings, and printmaking that is unique to this region. We're, we're hoping that the people have a new appreciation for the art and also that they can recognize that First Nations art isn't strictly um, traditional and traditional forms, that the artists are are growing and, and uh, experimenting and using different materials here and different approaches that really bring it into the, their contemporary. Salish Weave exhibit continues through May 6th. A guided tour of the collection is scheduled for this Thursday at 10 a.m. Well, the Art Gallery Greater Victoria also provided a stage this morning for the Federal Minister of National Revenue. Yes. What colour is that, Noah? Purple. You know, it's very expensive to raise a family these days, and uh, this is our government's way of supporting uh, uh, more families, uh, those who choose to put their children in, in arts and cultural activities. The minister used the gallery's Baby Picasso class as a backdrop to remind parents about the tax credit first introduced in last year's budget. It allows for parents to claim up to $500 worth of art, music and performance classes. The director of the gallery says the arts teach productive life skills. And I think it's important that the kids need training and be prepared for the new economy and part of that is, is uh, problem solving and part of it is uh, critical thinking and, uh, and uh, the ability to express themselves in different ways. So I think that those things are you can learn through arts education that maybe you can't pick up through literary and math sciences. And finally tonight, uh, actually, if you want more details on the Art Gallery's children's classes, just visit aggv.ca.